Chase Day and welcome to Iowa. After an active couple days in the plains down in Oklahoma, Kansas, and yesterday in Nebraska, the severe weather threat finally moves up to closer to Minnesota, so something reachable on a Saturday afternoon here, heading into Iowa, just crossed the border. So if you like severe weather, hopefully you get a chance to see a tornado today, some cool storms, some lightning. Please stick around, hit that like and subscribe button, and let's go find a storm today. So we crossed into Iowa about 10 minutes ago, and today's setup is there's an area of potential tornado activity kind of cutting Iowa diagonally from northwest to southeast. A lot of that's in the 5% risk area. So I'm going to be focusing on the northwest side of that. So storms should develop in that area, also influenced by a low that's kind of moving up through the South Dakota, Minnesota uh, border area. So that's going to add some spin to the atmosphere. We have a good low level wind here coming out of the southeast. So that makes for a good profile for the opportunity for tornadoes. All right, a quick update. Just took a peek at the radar scope and see a tornado watch has been added to uh, the section of uh, instability that I mentioned, kind of a diagonal running from northwest Iowa to southeast Iowa. My target Fort Dodge is right in the middle of that, so I feel good about looking at models the last couple days this morning and you know picking a dot that's at least in the target area. So whether I stay in Fort Dodge is to be seen, but it gives me a, a spot to get into the watch box where they're looking for storms to develop. And I can pivot from there. There's a good east-west route out of Fort Dodge and obviously lots of north-south uh, county roads in there as well. So we got about an hour and a half to get to Fort Dodge. It should be there by 2.30. I'm excited. Stick around. All right, a little update. Just rolled through Dodge City on Highway 20, heading west. My current target is Sac City. There's a couple of three storms over there. One was tornado warned a bit ago. There's still an ongoing tornado warning down by Des Moines. There's about a thousand chasers on that, so I chose not to go down there. I'm not feeling great about my chase today. I think I'm gonna bust. Hopefully I can look back on this in a couple hours and laugh at myself, but I think I'm taking a big drive around Iowa for no reason today. But Sac City, at least there's some targets out there. 240, a lot of day left in a tornado watch. We'll see, but not feeling good. All right, just five minutes later from that last update, feel a little better. I've been driving through just low clouds. Didn't feel real stormy at all and breaking out into some clear sky. One reason why I decided to head west uh, to find some clear sky, hopefully some higher temps. And I can see some storm tops out there, which is probably the three that I can see on radar. But it's definitely more encouraging to at least be seeing storm tops. Sac City, Iowa. We got convection going up here. Sears already had one tornado warning on it earlier. I just got out here from the Twin Cities. Pretty much storms or areas of interest going up all around us. Punch through, got to the other side of it. So from this point, I'm going to get gas, and I'll be good to go wherever these storms take me.
After topping off the truck with gas, it didn't take long to run into the few chasers that were in northwest Iowa. With only a couple of storms moving at 10 to 15 miles per hour, they were easy to keep up with and follow. The biggest challenge was radar showing the strength of the storms, as this area falls right in the middle of radars positioned in Des Moines, Sioux Falls, and Omaha. Driving around out north of Sac City in Iowa here. Met some other Minnesota chasers. Kind of catching up to the convergence here. Not much is happening with these cells yet. Might have a lowering going on over there. going down. Sony's gonna die any minute.
Shortly after the first tornado dissipated, a second area of circulation developed a few miles to the north. This was the beginning of a multi-vortex tornado. I hesitated here because I lost visual of the developing tornado behind the farm. The road was also more inclined than it looks on video, which also blocked my view. I definitely proceeded cautiously. There we go, twin tornadoes. I've never heard the roar. I can hear the roar. Tornado number three for me. I'm watching a tornado right now. What's up? What's up? This thing's not even moving. It's just staying in one spot. I don't see any farms there. I think it's out open, over open fields, so that's great. It is just stationary. There's a big farm right there of some sort.
Oh, we got damage. That's not good. there was always a tornado warned storm. As soon as one storm lost its rotating wall cloud, another storm would ramp back up. The storms were moving so slowly, it was easy to leapfrog from storm to storm. Was trying to cycle again on radar, it's getting a little stronger again. It kind of fell apart a bit, so see if it tightens up up here.
this whole thing is rotating. This thing is trying so hard to make a tornado. One section broken off here. We'll see if this thing drops down. Right over those pine trees is where it's really rotating right now. All right, I'm going to go move up. Quite the day in Northwest Iowa, highlighted by a multi-vortex tornado. Please hit that like and subscribe button for more storm and photography content, and I'll see you next time.